with our culture this morning. We ask that you can to come in and get your seat and uh, have a help join in that we might get the motion get started and be about our father's business. I read y'all saying it's the busiest man you ever seen. All I did was just trying to do what does it, Lord. Uh, we know that we got our devotions ready to start. And come, come on in and get a seat so we can get our devotions started. We will be started with uh, if everyone can stand and let us have a song. It's a good song. This is the way that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the way that the Lord has made. Thank you, Lord, for your mighty grace and mercy. 
But Lord, we realize that you enable us to just be here at this appointed time. And we want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your son Jesus who came and died on the cross. For my sins and the sins of the world. We thank you, Lord, for allowing him to just teach us in the way that you would have us to do. Yes, Lord. We pray that you come in our midst here in the chapter today. And let this be a glorious time. Give yes. you all the glory. Yes. Give you all the glory. Yes. Give you all everything. Lord. Yes. You are yes. all in all to us. Yes. But you have been a mighty good God yes. to us. Yes. You can come to us that we've been to ourselves. Yes. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for just touching us early this day. Thank you, Lord. Allowing us to rise and be in our way. Yes. Yes. Allowing us to have the strength in the body to be yes. our Lord. Our Father's business. We pray now that you continue to lead and guide us in the direction you have us to go. Yes. Help us to learn your word, understand your word, and be guided by your word. Yes. And Father, you do these things for us. Yes. We'll be so careful in giving our name. Yes. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated if you will. Amen. We think we have opened up in God's order. We've had song. Scripture and prayer. Yeah. And testimony time. Let me say this right quick. Somebody here is waiting on your testimony because they need it to make it throughout the rest of the year. So don't think that just because God don't bless you. Tell somebody what God has done for you to help them along the way. And I'm gonna say right off the bat, I'm with my sister. I'm gonna watch her because she'll pop up in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna say that God's been good to me. He's brought me from a mighty long way. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. He's been a good God to me. Yes. I, I'm going to tell you, I'm like, you know, I don't look like what I've been through. Yes. And I thank God for it. Yes. Not that I look all that good, but I hate it. I feel good. Yes. I know y'all got sound from it. Hey, this is what God gave me. This is what I'm going to do. I know I can't sing, but I'm going to holler to the tip of my voice. And if you don't like my singing, I'm sorry. Talk to God about it. I'm going to give him all the praise and all the glory. I'm not going to take a long time, but if you have anyone with a song or a testimony, you can do it. I belong to God because he knew I was going to be in the ground. I belong to God and I thank you, Lord, for being at this point. Lord, you will be all the way. Yes, sir. For the last two weeks, I've been hearing about, you know, my, 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 my husband, nephew, you would find him dead in the house. Then a friend of mine found him dead in the house. I said it could have been me. Mm -hmm. You know, God is good. You see? I got to give him all the praise while the blood is still running on the side of that thing. Because God is a good God. I can't do nothing about it. I can do all things like that. Right right I know it right up. Yes. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yes.
nothing but the power of the Lord. Yeah. Well, in May, he allowed me to retire from three jobs. <laughs> and I thank you for it. Also, yeah. in May, he allowed me to celebrate one more birthday. Yeah. And may he allow me to celebrate 74 years here.
He allowed me to be Mildred's associate pastor on the first Sunday. But God had another plan, and so time to change. And like I said, things change, but the moon's still the same. The sun's still the same. The stars have changed. But I want to thank him because he stood by me. Even when we were ordained uh, with the Old Eastern Association, he didn't want me to go that way. He said, because they're going to give you a hard time. And I said, I'm up for a hard time. All you got to do is challenge me, and I'm coming up with you. He said, well, let's go to Miller Brown. I know you got it, baby, because I, I was in favor in the church. Y'all know what I'm saying, me, because I See, because his son kind of liked it to you a little bit, so I was faithful in the But anyway, I went through the old Eastern, and they gave me a hard time. But I knew the calling that was upon my life, so I trusted God Amen. and not me. I put my trust in the Lord. Amen. And so we came through that together, too. So we have had some interesting times in this church since 50 years have expired. My God, somebody said 50. Amen. Some are going on now. Amen. I loved every one of them. Thank God they have gone on and I learned so much from each one of those members that have gone on ahead of me. I know Brother Jerry and I won't make it another feat. Our time is winding up. So I might not get this chance again, so I'm going to take advantage of it because God is good. Yes. Uh -huh. All the time. All the time. God is good. Yes. All you got to do is be sure and very sure that God has called you and you can stand the test of time. As I heard the Lord said, they that wait upon him shall renew their strength. How even though men shall fight against you, he said, none shall prevail. So I thank God for that. Amen. So shall we pray? Amen. 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 Eternal and all wise God, yes. creator of heaven and earth, yes. I call you Elohim, I call yes. you Adonai. Yes. You're the creator of all things. Yes. I call you Yahweh today, you are God of covenants. Yes. I call you Jehovah. You are the I am that I am. And God, I thank you for this very moment. Fifty years later. Who can stand the test of time but you are? You already gone ahead and you video all the sin of our lives. You know the ending from the beginning. You know the ending of the matter, so we put our trust in you. So this morning, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we come with a heart of thanksgiving. Thanking you for this man of God. Oh God, he's been up and he has been down. He's been through this and he's been through that. But you being God, you brought him through it all. He can write a book, God, about the things that he's been through. But the record speaks for And if he never writes a book, the life that he has lived will be a living epistle for So God will come to glorify you and to honor him. And love. Oh God, this morning we release everything in your hands because we know you've been charged of everything. God, I thank you now. Oh, Lord God, he married me in my husband, oh, Lord God. He stood by our side at first when in his church he did it, like in old Mildred, Lord God. And I, I took the vow seriously that he asked me to take that day, and we stayed together till death did us part. There's so many now, God, they take the vows and they're not offering them.
Dottie, and it's everybody. So we don't miss anybody. Amen. We welcome you into the house, and I stand just to let you know that this is not a visitation. You have a visitation before a funeral, usually. This is not a visitation. This is a rock. This is a reunion. And I tell you that I said that this is a reunion because I know my pastor. Right. He's like Father Abraham. Many sons have Father Abraham. My pastor, he has many sons, many grandchildren, many nieces and nephews. And I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to step on the bench and see a toe right now. Here, right. Reverend Ryan, our associate minister here, 
uh, Reverend Hill, our daughter, yeah, to know. Reverend Farmer, Reverend Ewell, and to our guest, Reverend Banks, and yeah. to all the ministers. I know there's some more out here. Yeah, yeah. And to our deacons, to our mothers, our saints, and our friends. Yeah, Father, yeah. This occasion is grand, and yeah. we thank you so much for being here. And these are our announcements. We had some people that just could not be here. So we're going to share this with you. Greetings in the precious name of Jesus the Christ. Congratulations, Reverend Walter Cherry Jr. We, the Greater Mount Carmel Church family, celebrate these 50 years with you on this great servitude milestone. This is a time for you to celebrate all that you have accomplished thus far. You have worked hard, and now it's time to reap the reward. God bless and preach, Reverend Dr. Brian. Thanks. <laughs> Yours in Christ, Bishop Eddie Lee Cherish Sr., founder of the Greater Mount Common Pentecostal Church Incorporated. 399 Woodridge Street, Hampton, Connecticut. And we thank him so dearly for sending out this to the pastor and to all of us to help celebrate. And I think he wants you to have him. Uh, let me cheer. The annual moderator's banquet Friday evening at the H. Cole Community College, Tarboro, North Carolina, September 29, 2023, at 7 p.m. Guest speaker, Dr. Ricky Banks, the banquet preacher president of the General Baptist State Convention of North Carolina. And that is uh, sponsored by the association. Greetings, our sisters in Christ. We are extremely excited about our upcoming second Shower Missionary Baptist Church Women's Conference and would like to invite your congregation, friends, and family to share this time with us. Our theme this year is Women Walking in Worship, Romans 12 and 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Please save these following dates. October 6, 2023, on a Friday, kickoff service at 7 p.m. at Shallow Missionary Baptist Church. And on October 7, 2023, on a Saturday, brunch and workshop, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Self-care, self nutrition, mental awareness, motivational, spiritual, and breast cancer. On October the 8th, which is next Sunday, is worship service at 11 a.m. Please join us with this, the expectation of being loved, embraced, pampered, strengthened, and to laughter. Our prayer is that we experience God's incredible love, His presence, and His presence, and allow His Holy Spirit to quicken us to understand our value and purpose. We are looking forward to fellowshipping with you, yours in Christ. Shallow Missionary Baptist Church Women's Conference Committee, Pastor Reverend Anthony L. Flowers. The Free Union uh, Baptist Church will be sponsoring a trip to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, to Sight and Sound Theater, a live production stage play, The Miracle of Christmas. And if you're interested in this um, production, go over with them to Sight and Sound. It's November the 15th through the 17th, 2020. And you can call her at 919-539-2911 or 710-9744. Christmas Gala, the Sisters Auxiliary and the Western District Executive Board would like to end this year with a Christmas Gala. The Christmas Gala is a festive family gathering intended to give you an evening of fellowship, fun, and sharing of the spirit of the season. We will be extending an invitation to members of this great union 
to participate in the game of by volunteering your talents to perform in this amazing show. The opportunity to participate in this event will be provided in October at our next union setting, which will be held here at Music in October. They will have flyers for each church to make the announcements during the service. Reverend Chair will be preaching at St. Stephen's Missionary Baptist Church on the fourth Sunday, this coming fourth Sunday, at 4 p.m. The combined choir ushers has been asked to serve with him, Pastor Reverend Mark Farmer. Reverend Chair has asked the combined choirs and ushers to serve on Monday night after the third Sunday in October for the Middle Ground Association at 7 p.m. Reverend Chair will be presiding for this service. Our mobile food bank will convene this month um, at the Glorious Tabernacle October. October. That's right, October. It will convene back in October, um, the mobile food bank. Everyone with a birthday for the month of September, you can stand and share your birthday. Stand up.
a lookout on your anniversary. Do you see sinners who need to be saved or a parking lot that needs to be paid? Do you see youth who need to be guided or a building that needs roofs and sides? Do you see a choir singing in praise or a deacon who forgot to give you a raise? <laughs>
Amen. To God be the glory. We thought it not robbery to travel this way today. We actually shut down ministry so we could come and celebrate the 50th anniversary with Reverend Cherry. He's truly been a blessing to us. And I'm Reverend Cynthia Knight from the Glorious Tabernacle of Faith Church under the leadership of his daughter, Pastor Reverend Shirley Hill. Amen. One that ever her needs to be traveled with her today. So to God be the glory for all the great things that he's doing. Amen. so much for our pastor to celebrate his anniversary. Amen. Our, our, our sister just stood up and represented St. Stephen Baptist Church and we pray that you will continue to be a blessing, amen, to us as you have already been. But I also stand to represent the Smith Chapel Baptist Church. My members are located in a car that my wife represents.
You want to give an expression, that would be having a comment, even though you're offering it. You may do so at that time. But we want to be quick on our expression.
sharp this morning so we could come and it was hard in this service. I know it's about the chair of preaching. I'm appreciative. I'm sure you know how much we appreciate you. Yes, sir. We're just just rare individuals. Thank you for passing across this state. You don't know what they miss. Strength. Yes, sir. We need to know it's simply because 
we've been kept yeah. Yeah. by Jesus. Oh, yeah. 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 It is this text that you here, who is the half brother to Jesus, yeah. Yeah. he's now a leader in the early church. Popular and powerful preacher. And I wanted to get more in depth into Jude, but let me just mention that it's interesting how he pins this short epistle. It is not to a particular church like Philippi or Galatia or Ephesus, but it's to a certain group of individuals. Yeah. Yeah. Notice how he identifies himself. First of all, he humbles himself and says, I am Jew, a servant of Jesus Christ. Yes. He does not say I'm Reverend Dr. Jew. I'm not Bishop Jew. I'm not Chief Apostle Jew. I'm not the right nor wrong Reverend Jew. He just says, I am a servant of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, when you can stay in pastoral ministry for 50 years, it's an indication that you're just servants of Jesus. He says he's the brother to James. And then he says, I'm writing this epistle to these individuals who have been sanctified into the body of Christ by God the Father. That's important that we understand that he's writing to a sanctified group. I know it's dangerous to come in a missionary to talk about being sanctified. We want to send that down to the street, to the Pentecostal church, to the Holiness church. But even as missionary baptism, in order for you to serve 50 years, in order for you to be a servant of God, you must be sanctified. You must be set apart. Again, uh, you have a preacher this morning who's not ashamed to say I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost healed, and fire baptized. Not only he said I'm a writer to those who are sanctified, but I'm writing to those who are preserved in, in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Isn't it good to know that when you become sanctified, that we have a Savior who takes care of us. Yeah. He preserves us. Yeah. He looks out for us. And then he says to those who have been called, called out of darkness right. into this marvelous light. Yeah. Yeah. Two goes on to tell them that he wants mercy, peace, and love to be multiplied. Yeah. Again, I don't want to be too long. I did want to spend a little time talking about mercy, peace, and love being multiplied. Yeah. But maybe sometime within the next 50 years, a beauty will let me come back home and explain what it's like without multiplication in peace and love and mercy. Yeah. And now, brothers and sisters, Jude brings us where I'm trying to get. Right. Jude says, I wish that I could continue to tell you about love, yeah. mercy, yeah. peace, yeah. and sanctification. Yeah. He says, but I must warn you now yeah. that since You've been given proper instruction. Yes, uh, Jude says there have been some men yes, who crept in the church yes, who were not all they said. Yes, they yes, yes, yes. Jude says there were some men <laughs> who dressed up in three pieces no, 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 no. who had floor shine shoes yes. who, who, who had a look of being sanctified, who have favor 
up of being sanctified. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But Luke says, but Jude says everything that looks good for us, to us is not good for us.
anniversary, but God can just keep one because we don't have yes. no respect to worship. Therefore, we know that we are not here because of our own, but because of the grace and because of the mercy. The sermon has already preached. My time on the program said extinct. So what I'm going to do is just open the doors of the church and get out of the way so you can meditate on knowing that you are careful.
the I say convention, certainly to neighboring churches and preachers. You are beloved, and you are held in very high esteem. Yes. Thank you, Reverend Jerry, for your friendship, fellowship, and your leadership. Uh, thank you for allowing me to be your friend. Your blessings will ever be upon you, and we look forward to continuing striving together in ministry. Amen.
Thank you, Reverend Banks. Thank you so much, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to live our lives. I pray and say to Him, Amen, in His glory. To all of you that are present, Amen, to Dr. Banks, Amen, to my friend, Dr. Obi Sykes, to my sons. 
when in there is scared to be in so bad. <laughs> Yes, me. That the white book you said out in that book. Yeah, Jim, where did Nigga come from? Say, he don't know nothing.